a foodie pen pal box reveal for you today it's going to be the last one for a little while because next month i'm doing vlogmas and i think i'm going to take a little break in the new year but it's a lovely box to go out on and it's from yvette thanks ever so much for sending this one um i can't remember if she has a blog but if i if she does i will leave it below for you and i specifically said to her that i was interested in some healthy snacks and this is what she sent these are called nothing but they're sliced beetroot and parsnip snacks they're freeze dried it says all they do cut them up take out the water and seal them in a bag so let's give them a go i've tried lots of vegetable crisps before and i do usually like them can't open the bag they may have got a little bit squished in transit but they're quite crunchy sounding they sound almost like hollow i imagine this one is the parsnip oh that's so nice it tastes a bit spongy polystyrene but it's crunchy too mm. beetroot is much nicer that's lovely there was also a naked berry bar which i've actually already eaten that's empty there's another bar in here this is called fruit heroes it's got raisins apples strawberries and sunflower i saw this little picture and thought it was raisins but actually it's dates and it's really nice it reminds me of the center of the um like fig roll-ups that you get that's not dates either but it's really nice mm. This one has come a little bit open. It's four mini pots of pate. I'm quite interested to give those a try because I don't actually eat that much pate. Sometimes the um, texture puts me off a little bit, but um, I'm looking forward to trying some different flavors and maybe I'll find one that I do like. There's also a bag of wasabi peas. I'm not very good at spicy things that are like chili flavored, but when it comes to like horseradish, wasabi, pepper, I can take quite a lot of that. So give these a try. Ooh they're good so the next one was for a bit of a treat and it's edinburgh rock i was expecting it to smell minty because they're like white in color but it actually doesn't does it say what flavor they are i don't think these are going to go down so well after the wasabi peas let's see it's it's hard it does say a flavor it says fruit flavored i want to say it's pineapple but it's just sweet that's not a bad thing but it is very sweet this feels like it's a really big box there's loads of stuff there's also this organic tea which is Rui Boss, vanilla Rui Boss, and it's in a little bag too i've not heard of the brand before it's love l-o-v it does smell quite nice and that's the tea bag and the very last thing are these Nairn's caramelized onion crackers let's open these oh i don't think i mentioned that yvette my foodie pen pal she's from scotland so that's why there's kind of the edinburgh rock and the nerds company are also based in edinburgh they're lovely really savory they would be nice with some cheese and chutney i think Ooh, i've, I've never tried those before but they taste good so that was another lovely local box i really like that she picked out things that were made in edinburgh i I've, I've sent things um to pen pals that are in Europe before that are quite British, but I haven't sent anything specifically from my hometown, which is quite an interesting one. Shrewsbury does have a biscuit that I suppose you could send. What would you send from your town, like your hometown, to highlight it and, and showcase it to someone in a little foodie pen pal box? I'd love to know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think if there's other, any other things. We do have a lot of really great local produce, but a lot of it is quite fresh, so I'm not sure how well it would travel. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you later in the week. Bye! And I just haven't been able to get a hold of the velvety vanilla ones because they're a limited edition.